ad honorem sante et individue trinitatis. By pronouncing this formula, the Pope canonized 35 new saints. They included Spanish Faustino Miguel and the first martyrs of the Americas, indigenous children Cristobal, Antonio, and Juan. Also among them was a group of Brazilian martyrs led by Jesuit André de Soveral. During the intense ceremony, the Pope warned of one of the most dangerous evils for one's faith life, routine. Ecco il pericolo. Una vita cristiana di routine, dove ci si accontenta della normalità, senza slancio, senza entusiasmo e con la memoria corta. The Pope explained that a Christian's relationship with God cannot be reduced to simply fulfilling the commandments for no good reason. It has to be a relationship of love, which, as in all relationships, runs the risk of being extinguished not by evil, but by selfishness. Ecco come si prendono le distanze dall'amore, non per cattiveria, ma perché si preferisce il proprio, le sicurezze, l'autoaffermazione, le comodità. Allora ci si sdraia sulle portrone dei guadagni, dei piaceri, di qualche hobby che fa stare un po' allegri, ma così si invecchia presto e male, perché si invecchia dentro. Quando il cuore non si dilata, si chiude, invecchia. Pope Francis said the Christian life must be constant because it's not enough to say yes to the Lord once. It must be renewed every day, just as the 35 saints who are canonized. He said they knew how to fulfill their yes until the end and keep alive a love that was not plagued by the virus of routine.